I've been walking to this day. Let's get stuck into the usual knees first. Squeezing the knees together and pushing the knees apart. Circle. The other way. feet together, the pelvis a bit tucked under, tighten your abs a bit just so you, you're not leaning back and you're not leaning forward when you do this and you're pulling the knee back behind the other knee a little bit as you bend, you really contract the hamstring. So you're aiming to feel back of the thigh. And then fast. So you stretch your thigh. Change your side. Knee goes back a bit. Keep the foot pulled up. supports your knees uh, very powerfully and the pelvis to have your hamstring primed so we're priming the muscle here kind of like an activation of the muscle then we go fast So we'll do the wall ball sits. So feet against the wall, come out the length of your own foot. And how deep we go with this. So we go to where it's a bit of a challenge, but over time aiming to get where there's 90 degrees here in the knee. So I'm tucking the pelvis under. And I've got the weighting through the tripod, especially through the heel, a bit more weighting, about 60% in the heel. Can feel those PSIS points and for me it's usually a little bit harder to feel the left side so I'll just make sure I feel the left side and how I do that I pull the left knee back a little bit and the right knee forward a bit and I can feel it press against that more which is a common thing people have to do actually if you can't feel that left side so the knee's just gone forward here it's gone back with this one just a touch Letting the arms drift up. And I'm just aiming to relax all my muscles as much as I can, pretty much except for my quads, the thighs. Um, and even the thighs you can relax to a quite a bit, quite a strong degree too.
So the more I stand here, the more the oxygen demand increases. And it makes my breathing go deeper and fuller. In the belly, I'm relaxing here more and more, which makes my shoulder blades round more. So I can feel like the more of a circularity in the arms and the chest without pushing things forward and just relaxing. And this forms what's called the bare shoulders. It means there's really strong biotensegrity in the body for power with the arms connecting through the waist to the ground. And as my legs really are screaming at me, I relax my thighs even more. I relax any muscles that are tensing up. Especially relaxing in here, hip flexors, abdomen, this whole line down the side, down the front, down the side, from shoulder's nest, a little divot in the shoulder, shoulder's nest to the qua here two side channels helps them sink energy downwards and that's that's it wow give your legs a shake get good at opening the fibers like a dog shaking off water so we're laying waiting for the legs to settle to better do more exercise let's just swing the arms really loose shaking off tension like you're shaking off water So from here, bring your feet together, then bring your feet about your shoulder width apart. The outside of your feet along the outside of your shoulder. Open, so I'm gonna open my right foot. I'm gonna step out here, comfortable step. My knees are gonna track in line with my toes, so don't let the knee go in or go in over here. Knees in line with the big toe. Pelvis is tucked under, just like we do any, any of the stances. And I'm just sinking. So I've got my weight 50-50 in my legs right now. It's almost like a sumo wrestler when they go to squat to begin the match. So knees tracking in line with the toes, tripod foot. The body will lean forward a little bit, but we just don't want excessive lean forward. So you go to where you feel, if I went any further forward, I really start to lean. So we're just going to that height. And over time though, you find you can relax, 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 and go down, thighs parallel to the floor. And you don't have to lean. Other way to do this is pushing the arms out. So just wrist to wrist, pushing out to the corner, and it'll help you keep your body more upright because it just balances the force, the uh, leverage in your body. Five more. Okay. Give your legs a shake. Arms out to the side. Let the arms drop. Okay, other side, feet together, come out about the left width of your shoulder, open that foot 90 degrees, this one same width, comfortable step forward, knees in line with your toes, pelvis a little bit tucked, pushing out if you need to, that's a probably good thing to do when you first start doing this. So what are you doing here, what are we doing, what are we feeling, we're doing mobility training for the hips, we're strengthening the legs, 
moving into a different kind of stance here too and what we're aiming to do with this you're feeling the tripod throughout so you might go down a certain height then you lose the heel or lose the outside edge of the foot so that's where you stop don't go any lower or you go down and you find that at a certain point your knee just wants to track inwards you can't help it to do with um, mobility in the adductor so at this point you keep your knees open you may find a big stretch in the adductor so it'll open it up and we're practicing staying vertical as much as possible and strengthen your legs as well so from the side so i've got my weight in the middle keeping the diaphragm relaxed so you make it to a certain height and the body wants to tense up just go to that height where you're just before the body wants to tense up and five more two three four and five so we'll do some horse dance work feet together open 45 45 45 straight again if you need to open a bit more again that's totally fine I'm tucking the pelvis under as I sink. Comfortable, comfortable stance. Body still vertical. And hands on the hips, just loosening the hips. Feeling the weight through the tripod. The knees staying still. <sighs> vertical spine. A little bit lean is fine. But over time as you get stronger, the hips open more, you find you can go staying quite vertical even when you go fairly low so to do this we're going to play with some contractions so the first one is we're pushing both the feet outwards if you want a slippery surface like you're sliding to the splits so both the feet push out in like the same with the knees so then the whole shin pushes out i'm not pushing out and then this doing this pushing out with the feet and the knees coming in the whole shin pushes out without excessively opening like that so I just push out in this position still feeling the tripod and it might make the muscles burn more okay come back up give the legs a shake very good for the fullness of your breathing to come into your body it's very good so having to breathe heavier once you've stopped it's called an oxygen debt it's the body getting rid of the carbon dioxide of the used cells that's used in the cells and then the new oxygen coming in let's go again so feet together open 45 45 45 straight sink and again turning this time we're going to pull the feet inwards so the knees and the feet come in without any collapse and we're keeping that in how strongly you're pulling that on it's maybe two or five percent but it's there two or five percent strength that's what i mean
10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three and a half, two, one. All oh. well, the legs are regaining their capacity again. Keep your legs straight. Slow punch, turn the body, first turn right over, grab, grab with the fingertips, pull in, punch, grab, pulling in hard all the way. This fist is kind of loose until the last bit becomes strong. Grab, strong fist at the end. Big body turn, waist turn, head staying in the center. So stepping out, so measure it if you need to, otherwise step into that same position. Grab, punch. So we'll do 20 of these, so that's four, five, Here relaxed, diaphragm relaxed. Ten. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Measure the step out, 45, 45, 45, straight. Let's almost start punching to the corners. So I grab and my right, my right fist punches to the left upper corner. So head height, but to like a 45 degree angle, I grab then I punch to the bottom other corner, grab, punch to the bottom other corner, grab, punch to the top corner, grab, and I'll just repeat. Top, top left corner, bottom right corner, bottom left corner, top right corner. So as I do this, I've still got all the twist not changing anything here still big twist I'm not shifting body weight I'm not massively turning knees again one two three four wow And 
vitalizing energy in through the top of the head, through the body, to the feet. Breathing down. dedicate that time out of this practice to the enlightenment of all beings in all places and all times. May this be a gift to the world and to you.